Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Iken and today we're going to continue our blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty. And so far it had been an insane run. We got 29 missions done, quite a few of ki uh, kills as you can see. And it is time to continue in Act 3, Chapter 4. Blistering Eclipse, I mentioned it at the end of last mission, is a solo flying solo mission where Marcella here with all of her good gear will try to defy the odds and start uh, going in freeing a couple of extra <clears throat> extra gears and hopefully yeah we'll come back in one piece she's at the end of the day our best scout that we do currently have and it would be a shame losing her on uh, on that mission on top of it there's a chance of getting some legendary gear, which we, of course, want to have. So, let's see how that's going to turn out. grub torture pods located in a fortified enemy position. Crack them open and evacuate those prisoners. Got you, Gabe, got you. We're going to do exactly that. Okay. <laughs> Time to get the mission rolling. One pot with a Vanguard. And one pot with, I think, a Heavy, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> so I would tendentially go towards the Heavy pot first. But that's just me. Could also go straight ahead. It's almost a bit closer. It's almost a bit closer good so we got some epic case here we got an epic case there and we got an epic case there zero out of three i think we're going to go for the vanguard pot first because why not sprinting in potentially seeing what we're dealing yeah i was about to say potentially seeing what we're dealing with That guy, barely. That's not bad, generally speaking, though. Here, cat. There we go. Target Two of down. them are injured. We're going to cloak. And as part of our maneuver, how about... Fire in the hole. Using our... Always beloved uh, proximity mine. Jack, on the other hand, is honestly just trying to keep up. Moving up and hiding ourselves as well. Watch it! Here they come! But that will be another kill. And this guy is interrupted. Okay, moving up. And this should be a kill. Very nice. Jack continues to move in. What are we dealing with? A disciple. Okay, cool. This is just a hammer, hammer burst drone. Shouldn't have messed with me. So might as well finish him and give Eliminate. Jack that extra movement. Disciple and disciple, I think. The moment we do have a vanguard, that here should play out a, a bit better for us. Be good. Hmm. Yep. Let's move over here <clears throat> for now. 
We do not yet have our cooldowns back. There is quite a bit of interruption and what we can do is get a damage reduction barrier and might as well have that vision reduction. Cover us in invisibility. Almost seems like that. Outgoing frag. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, oh, she continues to be hidden. Wow, okay. Well, guess what? We do have cloak, so we don't need those shenanigans. And thanks way. to our extra movement, we can just move all the way up here. Wow, that ability is strong. The small capsula is even better, so that's kind of a re-stealth. Good, we got ourselves a partner in crime. Pablo Padre the Angel. They called him the Angel of Death. Uh, he comes uh, from uh, Southern America, where he had been uh, obst hey. uh, mm, taken into custody. I was a uh, very poor Italian accent. All right, so hunkered loss, that's great. And how are we going to go about this guy so far? Ready. I think Pablo here. Can't, can't charge him, that is too bad. Anyways. We are Taking the loot and continuing standby. to move, because next stop will be down there. Might as well sprint down here, and Pablo is going to here as well. Good. Yeah, well, those guys are not a problem. This will be good. Not if we can sprint into cover. On my way. There we go. Break grenade it is. And there we go. Awaiting orders. At the same time, how about on the move? Move into here. Yes, please. Gain leech. Stand together is great. 50% damage reduction, but we don't need to do that. Instead, let's just overwatch, shall we? Scanning now. Okay. 
and let's take a good sniper aura. Doesn't matter for Overwatch, but it's great for cooldown reduction. Good, we're using the cooldown aura on top of that. Scout on standby. Why not? Outgoing crash. That's Got a, a fantastic uh, hit. Moving over here. Crit. Damn. Uh, almost. Running dry. Good. We reloaded, and that means we can give it another go. Moving out. Jack begins to move over here very soon. We're going to see the next and potentially last pack before we're moving out. Then, of course, there will be yet another pack. Jack picks up the loot. Ready. We're moving up. And... Moving out. Very much up here. I want to speed this up, so we're going to hide and aggressively push in. Okay. Time to make a move. Scout here. Good. We can, I, I could charge all the way back here, kind of move around them. Solid copy. One, two. Frag out. And three. Which is good. Go ahead. At the same time, Vanguard moves in. Setting takes a nice little perimeter. overwatch. Jack supports him. Gives him an extra aura. And we're hiding. Good, so that explosion will soften him up. Roger that. Uh. Outgoing frag. There we go. Nice little interruption. Ten percent chance to hit. That's not good enough. Now we're just going to overwatch that. Jack is disappearing. One. Gets behind here too. And guess what? Trying to use that same technique again. Oh. Shit, yeah. Vanguard on standby. Moving over here. Here, catch! 
Alright. Keep on coming. Case closed. That vision blockage is a fine very fine invention. Yep. On Overwatch. Dig in! We've got it coming! Good word full cover. Oh wow. So quite a bit of damage for full cover. Five turns, we're good. Outgoing crash and stay down. Orders. Good, moving up. On it. Jack is moving up. Yeah. And Scout is moving up. Good. Jack picks up the loot. I don't think that the mission is over after freeing him. I think we need to still get out of here. There we go. Okay. And between us and that objective will be very likely the last pack that we need to that we need to kill so far we're doing Solid reasonably copy. well and we got a dig in oh that's an explosive shot uh, skilled heavy like it <coughs> haven't had that yet ready Jack is making himself invisible One and a sprint. Moving to position. That's two. And that's three. Awaiting orders. Good. Enemies will drop, drop soon. On the move. Here's the objective. Ooh, tickers. Ooh, ah. Good, we have no time pressure here, which means scout a bit here. of healing for our scout isn't the worst idea. So that would should help against the tickers. They won't get past me. On the move. Moving over here. I am since there is uh, one of those torques, I might as well say everybody takes 50% damage reduction. Better waste uh, cooldown before being sorry afterwards. Scanning now. You got it. And moving up with Ed Lambs Carson, so everybody is sort of in river. one place. Great to hear that you're okay. I can tell you who's not okay. The enemy in a second. You got it. Fire in the hole. Eat dirt and die. 
safe. We're making ourselves invisible. That's our target. In the meantime. Yeah. Go ahead. Wilco. Are you telling me we can't see this guy? Unlikely. slightly forward that way everybody gets some extra defense and we're trying that again there we go funnily enough weapon damage also includes grenades apparently acknowledged moving over and let's continue. Brace for attack. This will be good. Feed it. Bam, take that. We go double kill. On my way. Target in sight. Hey. <laughs> and we're moving up. Yeah. Setting up a perimeter. Good. Next turn we can it on, leave it. I think it was Let's overall a decent ass. turn. Scout is almost healed up again. Taking position. I'm listening. And with the exception of that one hit, which arguably I could have prevented, everything else actually worked really, really well. So that will be our second legendary item, thanks to Mikaela. Passive skill stabilizer. Well, that looks great already. Plenty of extra epic cases. And eventually we are having the chance to recruit either of these guys. Which might be relevant for an next mission. Yeah, they have four skill points unspent, so... They really kind of come more as uh, as a draft fighter, but they're level six, which is great. Okay, unspent epic cases. Diagnostics, I think that was extra healing. This one is nice. That one definitely is good. I don't know what focus is can't remember but seems good as well seems good as well it seems that we're getting like all legendary uh, all epic gear now Diaz is almost level six as well so what would the next mission look like is the question probably one or more snipers grenadiers get 30 percent evasion Um, blow up the tank is this mission here. Hmm. Not sure. I mean, both of them look definitely good, but how would, how would our team look? So... We do have a support that one works well and i want to look for for different skilled gears right 
So what would we have available in terms of recruiting troops? This guy is still traveling, so can't recruit them now. But eventually we could recruit another sniper. If we wanted to do that, another support or another vanguard, okay? Good. We got a heavy here, kind of our second heavy. And he is completely explosion shot skilled. Might as well take him. I think that that would be a good idea. I don't want to take level 4 characters if I can prevent it. So we got a scout here with a deep skill into the top right tree. Where we do have obfuscation, better sprint, that whole anticipation shenanigans and so on. So that's not bad either. Might as well take that. So with heavy support in scout i would either go for another damage dealer or a tank so that leaves us with a vanguard here that one is aggression uh, focused or shock trooper or whatever it's called which looks good or we got a sniper but the sniper has the exact same skilling as we already have and i wanted to play different different um, different uh, skills just to showcase them but also effectively to try them so I think we're going for that vanguard here because I don't want to use a reskill let's just double check Sergio here is the vanguard Very good. And I mean, for now, really don't need to give them too much equipment. Typically, they are equipped very well. Blast zone here, plus 20% damage on grenades. Looks good. Normal frag grenade. Okay, might as well leave him with his basic gear, that's fine. It's not a fair comparison, but it is, it, it works as a comparison. From a build perspective, we're looking at um, regeneration, intimidation, we already know that. 20% uh, bonus damage when killing someone. Then demoralize, we know that, intimidate, and menacing bayonet, which means whenever a unit kills an enemy with a bayonet charge, all enemies within 7 meters get a reduction in how well they hit. And breach, 5 meters breach effect um, to give 20% um, health and action points if we kill them. And that is just even better intimidation. The question is, is that 10% extra damage really worth it? Same cooldown. When this unit kills an enemy with bayonet charge, all of this unit skills have cooldown reduced by one turn. That on the other hand looks good. And this here is free bayonet charge. When this unit kills an enemy, bayonet charge ability is reduced even one further. So, I mean, we could go with that, right? And with that. Oh, we're just using both of those for maximum bayonet charge. Hmm, difficult, difficult, difficult. I think... That one is also not too bad, the Executioner one. I think the um, skill reduction, is uh, the cooldown reduction is great. So we should take that. 
Just try that out. And that is whenever they kill an enemy, so bayonet charge comes up more often. I think we're going to use that. I'm not sure if we're killing that many enemies, but the cooldown reductions in my experience have worked relatively well. So he seems like a overall well-trained character. Uh, down here we do have another overwatch. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Can we hire another character? We could. Oh, wait. Are they then going to be traveling? I think yes. Would make sense elsewise. Well, this guy here, this heavy, is a carbon copy of our other. He is, right? It's a carbon copy of our other heavy. Yeah, pretty much the same Overwatch skills. We got another heavy here. You know what? Let's take him, Sergio Stinger. It's not great having a level 4 heavy in that mission. But I will hopefully somehow pull it off. Oh wow, he still has really bad gear. Let's give him that and that. And at least the accuracy bonus and a bit of plus damage elsewise it's not a very fair comparison stabilizers I think we need to give him accuracy, so that's the name of the game here. Well, we don't have good helmets. Anyways, this is going to be our heavy, just because I wanted a different skill. Uh, I wanted to showcase different skills. And for our scout... So we got a heavy, we got a support, we got this vanguard here, and for our scout, we wanted a completely different skill set. So it's all about sprinting, nimbleness, and just really moving fast. Free cloak, stalker. So she's actually going to scout a bit more. I can see that. That being self, uh, said, I still give her utility belt because having grenades readily available is very good. Okay. Hardened looks decent for her. Blast zone potentially is better. Because even if we are not fully focusing on grenades, grenades are, as far as I'm concerned, a really important kit of uh, the scouts. Accuracy. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, she has a lot of accuracy and that's good. The only thing that she does not have is the right color coding good long preparation for the next mission but i figured i'll still do that on camera to give you an idea of what i'm up uh, to and next time we're going to see a few different skills. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. That's going to help the channel and will make me happy. So see you in two days. Bye-bye.